Morning, so <clears throat> today's post I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about controlling rotation. Um, I know uh, a few of the people I treat do this and it's going to be a quite a nice reminder for them that actually this is something they can do at home. Um, and if we think about running and if we think about sprinting especially um, and high jumping and long jumping, it's all about controlling that rotation. If we can uh, allow the movement but not over rotate then we can serve energy we can keep our trunk stable but functional and we can keep we can keep movement uh, and it's all about that movement control so um, just a little bit of different stuff today so um, we're going to talk really about start off with thoracic rotation and, and can we control it so can we sort of sit and can we sort of rotate our thorax um, not you know just trying to keep that Keep that core nice and sort of stable uh, because really our rotation shouldn't come from our lumbar spine. Our rotation should come from our thorax and it needs to be nice and strong just to be able to control that. And that then protects our lower back. Okay, so yeah, can do that. So we've got here, that's 2K, that's 2K, that's probably a nicer little one. So I probably can't do this with my arms out because I'm not actually very strong. So I would hold that here and just think, right. Can I control that rotation? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so that's a very basic position. So then I could go up into kneeling and now we're starting to challenge the core a little bit. So just think, right, what's, what's our rotation like here? Okay, I can sort of move my thorax independently, follow with your eyes. Okay, can I do it with a weight? Who knows? So let's try. <clears throat> So I wouldn't hold the weight out in front of me because I'm not strong enough. Um, lots, of the, um, lots of the athletes I treat do and can, but I, I know I can't. So, uh, but I've got the control. So keeping that pelvis nice and still and just getting that little bit of movement. Okay, so then, yeah, we can do it in that position. And you know, what you find is some, some events can actually do it in standing better than kneeling. Um, and um, different positions are stronger in different, different events. So, okay, so now we're gonna get a bit more challenging. So we're gonna look a little bit of, uh, sort of a bit of rotation in a, a lunge position. So suddenly we're in a bit more of an unstable position here. So can I, yeah, but we're getting a bit more challenging. So I don't need a weight here. I could put my arms above my head and just think, right, can I control that rotation? Just about. Not so good on this side, but I could just about, I think. Okay, but I wouldn't add a weight in that position. What I could do is I could put a little bit of band in just to give myself a little bit of work in the upper body just to sort of get my arms going a little bit and just think yeah i can just about do that but i haven't got much movement so that's something i've got to work on in that position so let's see what the other side's like okay so am i a bit more stable yeah you see i've actually got quite a bit more movement in this side and that probably has an effect on my running you know can i rotate as much when i'm on my uh Right leg is my left leg? No, I can't. Okay, so can I take my arms up? Yeah, you know, it's actually okay in that position. So can I add a band? I know I can't do a weight, so I'm not going to try. But you know, if you're a, a sprinter or a rugby player and you're used to lifting weights, go for it. Put a kettlebell above your head. Don't drop it. <laughs> there we go. So interestingly, I might be cheating a bit that way. But really keep that keep that control and just get that movement okay so um, <clears throat> then we can go into a standing lunge and just think right okay that's again arms here and again not as good to that side I don't know if it looks not as good but when I go that way I can feel it's a bit blocked and this is what I want, you know, this is, this is what I'm trying to teach you, is if you go through different sort of combined movements yourself, be aware of your own body, you know, um, and, and start to understand where you're tight. See? Much easier on that side. I, I skipped a phase. I actually skipped that phase. 
um, because I knew I, it was easier. But did you see what happened then? Very, very easy to cheat. So keep that pelvis still again. Good. Okay. And then we can challenge it a bit further. And right. Okay. So what happens when we run? We can take ourselves into that position and that position. Just get a little bit of movement going. Okay. We can hold our arms out. Can we control that rotation standing on one leg? Much, much harder, right? Arms above our head. Can we control it? You're going to have a little bit of hip movement and foot movement, but really, really good for that hip and foot control and come back down. That was my good leg. Okay, so here we go. This leg's not as good. Had surgery on my left leg, but hey, it's never been as good my right leg. Okay, can I do that? Skip to stage again. Let's perhaps try to avoid C. I want to rotate to the left. I want to follow it round that way. And I know my left obliques aren't as good. Okay, and then we go back up. And I can't turn very far without my whole body going. And I know I'm not very good at controlling my rotation from my hips. I've got loads and loads and loads of internal rotations. This is a really, really good one for me to do. I could take the band in this position. Okay, um, and take it up and just hold it out a little bit and just add. And I've only got to do a few degrees of rotation and that's enough with the band to challenge me. Okay. And anybody that watched yesterday's video, I wonder if you can work out what's coming next. Okay, and then, you know, you can take the band up and we can get a little bit more dynamic. Oh, you see? Rubbish. Okay, so you want to try and get the control. Oh, yeah, my pelvis is all over the shop, isn't it? So that's, you know, that's too hard an exercise for me, really. Um, and then my best friend here. Okay, I can get a little 2K weight. I could stand on that on one leg. I could stand on it on two legs to start with, but we could go onto one leg, you know, and we could just hold it and we could just add a few degrees of rotation and you can actually see how much harder that is. I've got to do it on my right leg. I dare take it above my head. Okay, so. Okay, and there's loads of fun ways you can do this. You can get a band. If you've got a, if you've got a bossy ball, great. If you haven't, get a band. Get a somebody, I haven't got anybody in here at the moment. But you could get somebody to pull it for you. Okay, let's try it against the chair and bring the band a bit closer, and that's not going to work. Okay. So, you can stand. Nelly! Yeah? Come in, I'm in. Quick. Just going to go help Daddy. Right. right. Take hold, stand there. Take hold of that there. No, no, no. That. Stand there. Right, okay. So, I've now got some help. Whoa. Nelly's here. You can stick your head in the screen. Go on, say hello. Hi. Hey, there she is. She's all ready to go running with us. Right. So, she's holding it. Right, now stand on one leg now. That's it, and suddenly, you know, we've got a bit of a team bounce, right? Bend your knee, get some, get that control. I'm doing it on my bad leg. Okay. So okay. Right now, swap sides. Go that side. Okay. Really? Right. Okay. Right. She's standing on one leg. I'm standing on one leg, and we can add a bit of a bit of control. So, so you can see, there's lots of fun ways of controlling that rotation. Um, I think we might have a dog in here now as well. <laughs> Saturday morning, it's all going on. Right, Can so now, no. Yeah. So just try standing on one leg. Okay, no, a bit further, slightly further. That's it. Okay, and catch this. Okay, so make it fun. Oh, I'm rubbish at this. Make it fun with the kids. Yeah, you know, and just, just have a bit of fun. It's Saturday after all. Anyway, that's it today, folks. Hope you've got the concept. Um, it's all about... Uh, controlling rotation the faster you go actually the stronger you've got to be to control and help that rotation okay bit of food for thought bye